I'm John Merck here, and this is Focus on the Fall. So glad that you are with us. We're going to talk about the military wall. We're in the high school shop area. This is a very cool thing. It's a veterans recognition and memorial, a celebration of service, if you will, here at the high school. And I've got some very special guests that are with us for this special show. I want to introduce Brett Warner. He's a teacher here at the high school. Alex Russo is a senior, and Jacob Poppenbarger is also a senior. Thank you so much for being with us, you guys. Thank you. I, we're looking at pictures here shortly of this incredible thing that's upstairs just from where we are. Brett, I want to talk to you about why this is important. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing that we've done here. Why is it important that we have this here at the school? Um, there's very few people that uh, decide to serve our country, and um, it started with Mr. Vitale. I believe he wanted to recognize those uh, students and past, you know, anybody that went through the school district and graduated that joined any branch of service, we wanted to, to honor them and, and recognize them for their service. Um, I've had, um, both of my grandpas were in uh, World War II and my other grandpa was in the Korean War, so I have a lot of history wow. with um, veterans in, um, in any, a bunch of different branches of service, but uh, it's important. Um, I try to you know, honor those people and, and have the the, the local recruiters come in, talk to our classes about just options and different career paths that they could take through the yeah. Army and the Marines and, and whatever. So I'm going to get to a couple of your students here in just a second. When you look at that wall and you think about the history and the sacrifice and the commitment of the people whose names are on that wall and some of them, well, they were all students who came through this district. What feelings go through you when you think about those names and that service when you look at the wall? Um, I It's like... Uh, I guess the least I can do to say thanks, you know, and to make sure that their name stands out here, that they're just, they just weren't a graduate of the school district. They, they graduated and they went on to serve our country, you know, and less than 1% of the country signs up yeah. for the military. So way less than 1%. I don't know the exact number, but uh, those people should be honored and recognized more than they are. So that's our little part. Alex, when I'm here at the school and I walk by that thing, it just gives me goosebumps and it makes me proud every time I see it. You helped put it together and kind of made it what it is. When you walk by there and you see that, what thoughts go through your mind? Um, it was an honor to be part of it. Um, I didn't know how to swing a hammer before I started building that. Uh, it was great to know the purpose behind it and to know um, that we were honoring students that went to this school, that went into the military. Um, and I learned a lot doing that and I, it helped me kind of figure out my career path. So, so what is your career path? Kind of tell me how that led you into what you're pursuing. So right now I'm a carpenter. I've been a carpenter for the last two years. Um, and after I'm graduated high school, I'll be working full time. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. You're almost working full time now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you found your calling. Yep. Oh yeah. And the and military wall played a huge part in that. So. That is really cool. Uh, Jacob, kind of the same first broad question to begin with. How proud are you? What, what thoughts do you have when you look at that beautiful military wall? Well, it's, uh, it's been an honor. And just like Alex, I didn't know how to swing a hammer or use a drill before any of this. I, I could barely read a measuring tape. So, you know, it was, uh, it was a great experience uh, to learn and just to be able to recognize the veterans that have gone through our high school so so there are younger veteran names on there there are older veteran names on there they span different generations jacob when you think about veterans coming back to the school and standing and looking at that and the sense of pride that they must have and that you played a part in that that must be pretty cool how cool is that oh it's uh it's really cool i'm i'm grateful that i'm uh able to give back to them Alex, when you think about, you know, it's more than just names on there. It's real people that went through this high school, just like you're going through the high school. Uh, is that a sense of pride? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We worked with, uh, he was our friend for a while. He was a senior when we were freshmen. Brian Smart worked on the wall with us, and he went to the Army. So it's cool to see that we worked wow. with somebody that actually went into the service. So is his name on the wall? His name is on the wall right now. That is, that's really, really cool. What's the challenge been like, Brett, to make sure that you get the names on the wall? Because there's a lot of people in our community who served, and there's not just a way you can Google and find them all in a nice little neat list. Has that been a challenge? Yeah, we struggled with that, and I know there was some outreach done, um, and that was pretty much just with the families that are in the district now. You know, if you know somebody that was in the service 
to reach out, but um, I know we had contact with the local VFW and I worked with some of the recruiters that I knew, but even they had trouble finding, you know, maybe they could pull stuff in the last 10 years, um, you know, students that went through and we could get names that way, but it, it, it's difficult to find, you know, people, especially going back 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So um, the school district's putting together a, a method to collect where you could submit um, uh, individual an individual that should be on that wall and what branch of service right now there's five plaques the Coast Guard um, does not have any names on it and there's probably a few that should be up there um, we have students or former students I guess veterans that are in the National Guard um, the reserves that all yeah. you know we put we recognize that too so yeah, and to your that. point, you know, my, my grandpa's 93 years old, and he's a World War II vet. And so if you're a World War II guy, they're all in their 90s now. I mean, World War II ended, you know, 70-plus yeah. years ago, right. and we need help finding those guys. So if you know someone, if you're a veteran or you have a loved one or you have a neighbor that went through the district that belongs on the wall, get in touch with someone at the district. You can look at the high school website. You can call the district office. We need to get those names up on the wall. So if you know somebody, if you have a loved one or a neighbor, uh, let's make that happen. I want to ask you about the construction of it because the district could have hired somebody. The district could have brought somebody in and did this and instead they wanted to make sure that students had a part of this and that students were involved. Alex, talk to me about that part of it, actually doing the hands-on. I can't believe how beautiful it is and you guys did that. Right, so um, VJS, uh, carpenter contractor, they came. They right? remodeled the school. Yeah, mm -hmm. they came. They helped us out with the framing. We were doing it all down here. Mm -hmm. We built it in sections. And, and then J.H. Hosinger. J.H. Hosinger, yep. That was a local company here, um, a local contractor that donated time and material for that too. Yeah, they both were down here. We were building with them, and we'd, bring, we'd make little sections, and we'd bring it up there, put it all together, and then it, it came together pretty quick. And actually. you worked with them. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, you talk about real life hands on experience. That's pretty cool. And we were learning the whole way. So, Jacob, how cool is that to learn that way? You can learn a lot down here. This is a beautiful space and you have great teachers, but to work next to people who do this for a living every day. It was uh, definitely cool to get to uh, work alongside the pros, the people who do it uh, every day. So, I learned a lot from them. Oh, yeah. Brett, have you heard from veterans that are on the wall? Yeah, I uh, pretty much, especially with the pandemic going on, we're not allowed to have visitors. Mm -hmm. um, but I reached out to a lot of people on social media that were former graduates, um, asking if they knew of anybody besides themselves, just so I could get more names. Because I knew there was more students of mine. I mean, I've been here over 15 years, so um, I knew there was you know, mm -hmm. quite a few more students that I could uh, get nameplates for, but um, I would share pictures with them and they were impressed and, you know, thank you. And like, well, you don't have to thank me. We built it for you, you know, so that's cool. Um, made sure that I told them when you're home, come and see it because we built that yeah. for you and I want to know what you think about it. So, uh, so Alex, it kind of led to you heading down a career path or at least encourage you in that direction. Jacob, what about you? You're a senior. What, what does your future hold? Um, well, I want to be a mechanic, so I'm currently working at Whitland, so I'm learning a lot there, and I plan on learning more. So, did you do auto here at the school? Were there no? Do they have that anymore? They didn't have an autos program, but uh, I really found a love for fixing things while here. So, oh, that's cool. The shop class has definitely opened up that for me, so it's definitely fun. You know, we do a lot of cool things in the district, but when we can do something that benefits the students, the community, this honors our veterans. How rewarding is that, Brett, when it all comes together like it has in this example? Well, I know there was people that were, you know, anxious to get it done and you know, we were working on it in class. So it's, you know, before our schedule changed here, um, we only had like 44 minutes. So it was yeah. work on it <laughs> or, you know, get set up, work you on just it, get and going. class is over, yeah. you know, shut her down. But um, with our new schedule, we have 90 minutes, so we could really, we dedicated my whole advanced uh, construction class to it first semester, and um, Mr. Vitale was asking, when is this going to be done? I'm like, I will guarantee <laughs> that it will be done before Christmas break, and 
um, we had the majority of it all, you know, made and, and hung and besides the glass that we had a contractor come in and do that. But we had everything done um, at, right, right before we left. So when we get name plates, like every other week we'll get name That's tags cool. and we'll hang yeah. them up. And um, So Alex and Jacob, same question for you. When you look at it now and it's done and you know the process that went into getting this done over the past couple of years, what thoughts go through your mind? I'll start with you, Alex, when you look at it now. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> we put a lot of effort into it, and with a few bumps in the road with COVID hitting and all that, we were really, we weren't able to work on it, obviously, so I think we were all really excited to get it done finally. Jacob, when you look at the beautiful project now in its finished stage, what are your thoughts? Uh, I love how it looks. Uh, it's a lot of effort's been put into it. Uh, it's turned out amazing, really, and uh, it's been an amazing process. I'm proud of the district and a lot of the things that we do in the district. When I look at the wall, it gives me such a sense of pride to know that the district did this, that Brett, you headed this up, that Jacob and Alex and your classmates built this and put it together. And I think the community needs to say thank you for honoring our veterans and honoring those that came through the district and serve or served our country. So thank you so much for doing that. No problem. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. And if you know somebody who should be on the wall, if they served, get in touch with the district. More information on the high school website or you can call the district office. So go ahead, pick up the phone, reach out to the district. It's a way of honoring our veterans, veterans who deserve this recognition. It's been Focus on the Falls. I'm John Merck here. Thanks to Brett Warner, Alex Russo, and Jacob Poffenbarger. Thank you so much, guys, for being with us.